Hello. Um, this is going to be a very short lesson on those little locks you see on the right side above each staff. Or you might not see them if it's unlocked. But th those locks are important to understand. Um, if you're picking how you like your scores or lead sheets how they look so and this is part of setting up your templates getting things the way you like them to look <clears throat> I actually said something incorrect in that video lesson number two when I touched on these locks a little bit here I'll make them pop up so you see what I'm talking about oh, I gotta highlight the measures Utilities, lock systems. Oh, I've got something disabled in here. The view. There, now you can see them. <clears throat> so these little locks, it's very distracting to me. I actually keep my staff systems locked. I like them locked, but I don't like seeing these icons. That's just too distracting for me, especially when I'm writing music and things getting away there. I'm going to leave it displayed for now. But anyway, so when you first open up a uh, template, this will actually, everything will be unlocked. So I'm going to unlock it again right now. Utilities. Unlock systems. I'll show you what this does right now. Speedy entry. Uh, speedy. Yes, I want to jump. To measures right now. I'm going to do this very fast. I'll just enter whole notes. Okay. So now when I click outside here, watch how these staff systems um, re-space. See that? It's doing that so you don't have to use so many pages in your lead cheater score. You might want to do it this way. Keep it like that all the time. I'm a... Uh, when... Well, I'm going to go into that explanation. I was going to explain how why I don't use this, but especially when I'm writing for other people and they like things a certain way but anyway I hope this un helps you understand I'm gonna revert get rid of all that now I'm gonna highlight my staff systems oh I just move my mouse to the left side over here. Look, if I click anywhere over there on the left, it'll highlight all the staff systems. And I click in the middle to get rid of that. So, so highlight the staff systems, go up to your utilities, and I'm going to lock the systems now. And I'll show you what happens now when it when I enter a lot of notes, whole notes, or it could be half notes. Okay. So now, see, I clicked outside, and this it did not respace. That's the purpose of that. Keep it the way you like it. So now, I'm going to get rid of these icons. Go to view, show, deselect that. The systems are still locked even though you don't see the icons. I just uh, really don't like those visual distractions and they'll get in the way when you're writing music over here, your chord symbols or your whatever you're writing above the staff might bleed into those locks. 
Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Trying to think of anything else I can tell you real quick. Oh yeah, I'll show you um a little bit more. So I actually forgot about how important this is because I always have my templates saved this way with them locked, but but with the icons not there. So why this is important for me is now I'm going to highlight a measure. I press my down arrow. I have this um, option also when I keep the systems locked. Later they won't respace. They'll stay the way I put them. Now I'm going to highlight this measure right here. Watch how it'll move these two measures down if I hit the down arrow button. See that? Now watch me. I'm going to highlight this measure hit the up arrow and it moved all the measures up there down arrow so that can be important oh then if say you're working on some measures you, I have a lot of notes in here that's probably why I I mean if I'm writing something else I, I might have entered a lot of sixteenths and these measures maybe even some 30 second notes so that's when you want only two measures on a staff is when you have a lot of notes in here if you had four measures up there and a lot of notes then it would all get cramped up hard to read the, all those fast notes so say I got those measures like I like them now watch this to highlight only the measures below here I'm gonna First I like this measure and then watch my mouse cursor. I'm going to go to the end of the score. Shift shift key and go back to the beginning. See I've got all those highlighted. Now I'm going to go up to utilities and fit measures. I'll put four for now. See that was an easy way to respace things too. <clears throat> I'll show you just one quick thing. I'm I'm heavily into details and when I think of little details I want to show them to you. So um I was showing you how you highlight measures. If I want to go to all the way over maybe to this measure, shift, do that. Now now if you want to move the thing around those will stay highlighted but only if you use the the right button on your mouse or you can use this thing down here the uh, to move around or you can use your page numbers down here but if you happen to click out here then you'll lose those highlighted measures I'm just showing you that so you'll be aware. And that's a very simple lesson. I'm going to actually, I guess I'll save that, yeah. Oh, I was thinking about something else. Here we go, save. I'm going to close it out. That's understanding those those uh, lock icons. Y'all have a good day.